Hello friends, this is M with Abnormal Mapping. Welcome back to this Let's Adventure with Gabriel Knight. We are going to meet Madame Kazanu. Um, we have her address. I don't know if it's actually going to help us, but we're going to give it a shot. See if we can talk our way into the door. Uh, and? The knocker is... Alright, use. Yes? Who is it? Hi, I'm doing an article on voodoo, and I heard that you... I am a good Catholic young man. Take your evil influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. Hmm. I have that priest shirt. What am I missing? Do I need, like, more of the uniform? Let's go to Cathedral and find out. Um, you're right. Um. The closet shelf, in other words. There's a box of... Oh, I need one of these. Well, you never know when a... There's no reason... All right, let's go impersonate a priest. Has new residents. Now we can dress up. All right, but this is private. Yes, that's so good. All right. Yes. Who is it? It's Father Mc... Well, Father, you... I am sure the bishop would never approve. I know my duty, Father, but... Oh, my hair. Do I... Is this hair gel? The jar can... Yes, all right. The things I do for my art... All right. Now that should be good. Yes. Who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see you. I see you've taken my advice, Father. I didn't mean to be harsh, but the church is the church. Well, when you're right, you're right. Exactly. Come in, Father. Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, let's look around first, because this place seems... The painting be... Okay. Madame's part. A small... The tea service has been part. Okay. There's an old... Fa it's a paint... Madame... <laughs> Can I open this? Father McLaugh. Okay, let's talk to her. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. All right. Phew. What can you tell me about voodoo? Look at this. Uh, oh. People think I'm just a foolish old woman. But I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750. So I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over this city. In the shops. Everywhere. 
They'll curse you like that. And most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery. Take strands of your hair at the store when you try on the clothes. You have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too, and I can counteract their evil spells. Okay, any more? Tell me more. It's... Okay. What do you know of... Voodoo murders? Ha! <laughs> they are not... Uh... They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here in... I don't really like this lady. What do you know of... Shh. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleanians are of French origin, you know. My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Fuck right. Up. Thanks. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? May we? I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at Sandwich Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness. Worse than All Hallows' Eve. They will corrupt anything, Father. They? They who? Oh, you know. I don't think I know. What can you... I don't... Do you have any idea what Cabri Sans Cor means? <laughs> May we? I know. I bet you do not, Father. Nespa. Yeah, no. Uh... No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Just as... Oh, someone sh needs to tell me then. Um... Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, her? My great grand... Tell me... No, no, I won't... Do you know any... No. Tell me... Me? Real New Orleans... Oh, I don't care about any of this. Okay, so I need someone to tell me what Capri Sac Core means so I can get in with her, I would assume. I think that's it. Gabriel Dal Gabriel can Well, madame, I must Of course. Hmm. That's yeah, so there's clearly a step I'm missing here. Um, I'm not going back on the street looking like this. Let's think about where I need to go. Um, movie museum. Is there, do I have anything else on the map? Tulane University. There's a lecture. Right, right, right. right, right. We're going to go there because we haven't been there. It looks like the lecture is just starting. Gabriel decides to record the session. Voodoo is the tribal religion of Africa. But the name Voodoo is actually a banner heading under which resides... Oh, this guy's boring. The word Voodoo may sound familiar to you. What is known in the States as Voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems, Voodoo, and European religions, primarily Catholicism. All of the subcults of African voodoo have certain things in common. The most important is the worship of a panther. Yes. Some of these spirits are elementals. Some real this yes. spirit worship yes, is what yes, makes yes. voodoo so easy. At the height of tribal Africa, warfare was common. One tribe would conquer. In this way, many of the voodoo cults spread. Okay. 
The basis for the Voodoo religion seems to be Africa is believed by many to be. We still can't explain some of the real power of these primal religions. Okay. Now, first, in Voodoo, during a Voodoo ceremony, celebrants are possessed by the Lord. Okay. A person being ridden by a Loa takes on the characteristics of that spirit. Some of the older, original Africa Loa include Dambala, the great serpent god. Is really the mistress of love. Papa Nabel or Gede, the Lord of Death. Oh, Gede. Agwe. The Geda, right? The spirit of water. Ligma, spirit of the crossroads. And the cruelest and most dangerous, Ogun Badagri, the Lord of Destruction. Uh, tribe specific Loa can have as much or more. Voodoo temples are called Houndfors. Their priests, Hangun or Bokors. Their priestesses, Mamaloa. In a Voodoo Houndfor, there's a ritual circle marked by a center pole called a Poto Mitan. Hey! The ritual circle is prepared with a Vele, a pattern of symbols. To each tribe's Vele is slightly different consisting of complex symbols that identify their special law. During ritual conclaves, initiates dance under the supervision of a Bokor and a Mama Loa, or head priestess. The use of totems or animal masks and markings was not uncommon. Okay. In ritual objects used during the conclaves include the ritual gourd or asson. The ritual knife or kubasa. That knife gives me the chills. The ritual whip or fwet kash. And the ritual coffin or seke madule. These items are often optional, called for by the, okay. the Mama Loa is the most. Yes. Mama Loa is the supreme woman. She Butterflies. Fireflies. Oh, fell asleep. Great. Gabriel, you must hide, Gabriel. Hide. No. That's that no. German guy. Let me out. Help. Acting is strong in this one. My word. Young man, the lecture. Right. I would like to talk to this guy. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, in there, okay. Let's look at this real fast. Gabriel Sk Greek Knight at the Alpha Psi Omega Fra. Okay. Go ahead and go in there. Are you a student? No. My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Well, you have walked into my private office, Mr. Knight. I hope you have something worthwhile to do here. If you figure it out, let me know. I'd like to ask you some questions. This is what I'd like to do. Help move up. Mind if I pick your brain? Not if it will get you out. Okay, cool. Oh, we're Veve now. Tell me about Veves. If you'd taken notes during my lecture, you... Great. Uh... But you already sat... What do you... I've... But according to the newspapers, the voodoo... I'm okay. sure there are many so-called practice. Do you have any idea what Cabri Sans Corps means? Cabri Sans Corps? Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I believe. It's French. And literally translates as goat without horns. As in a female goat? 
No, as in a human sacrifice. Sacrifices in Vudun are usually of the animal variety. Chickens, bulls, goats. If the gods demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. Oh, okay. Tell me more. It's uh, very rare, most Vudun. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a hate. Mistress Azuli, come. If a bull will suffice, behold it. Azuli is the gentlest of Loa, so they call on her for mercy. Okay. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the... Tell me... I wouldn't dwell on it. Hmm, let's show him... Let's show him our Veve, then. And show him all sorts of crazy stuff, actually. We got a bunch of things here going on. Can you tell me anything about this pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, he's gonna steal our thing. Oh, okay. Here you go. You know, this is a... Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you... Well, some. Each of the symbols in the Veve represent... Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong. You think this Veve is authentic, then? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what. I'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Yes. Absolutely. But I'm, uh... All right. Uh, can I ask you about murders? Is there anything you can tell me? Hmm, this is... In what way? Let's see. With the wound, the face. Mm. Mm. Reminds me of Sir. Really? Black Voodoo. What about my alphabet? I think that's the only other thing I have for me. Can you tell me anything? No, I've never. Right. I am never wrong. Up for a few more questions. Ask you about black voodoo? Yeah. Tell me what you mean by black voodoo. Well, like any religion, the beliefs can... Christianity, for example, has its doppelganger, Satanism. The same is true of voodoo. Is that it, really? Can you give me an... All right. There is a very secret, very dark cult in Haiti called the Cult de Mort. Cult of the Dead. Yeah, I figured that one. Their primary law is Baba Nabo, Loa of the Cemetery. They practice a particularly disgusting form of necromancy. Magic. Okay. And you give In tribal Africa there were and still um, Tell me I wouldn't dwell on it. Tell me about Alright, Mr. Knight, I'm thirty-five. Thirty-five? This guy's not thirty-five. As well as a Fellow at Cambridge. Oh my, my God! Was obtained at Syracuse. Yes, Syracuse in religious studies. I'm an agnostic, but I find human belief systems fascinating, and I am heterosexual when I practice sex at all, which isn't very often. This man is clearly no very, very gay. Then, uh, no, because no one would say this. Fine. Uh, my word. All right, that's fine. One, you're not 35, and two, I feel like that is just a setup for very 90s coded. This is a gay character. Um, anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's just leave then. Now that we know what Capri Sancor means, we could probably just go talk to uh, Mrs. Casano. Casano. Good day, Mr. Knight. I'm not great with French names. Uh, let's bounce. We're going to head over there, and then I'm going to save, because we're actually... 
at the end of our time today. So let's move over there and I uh, will uh, save the game and then we will continue on next time. Um, thanks so much for watching. It looks like we're like maybe a little less than half. Well, B3, so never mind. I was going to say, I feel like we're like maybe about halfway, but no, clearly not. Um, I assume the days get shorter as we go, but who's to say? Um, a big game. Thanks so much, everybody. Hope you've had a good time. Uh, as usual, uh, you know, like, share, whatever, comment, subscribe, whatever people do. Uh, the end card's probably playing now, so go click those links, check out the Patreon, please support us in any way you can, and uh, I'll be back next week with more Gabriel Knight. Bye, friends.